Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Espresso on S3. And joining us in celebrating the incredible milestone of the Two Oceans Marathon as it marks its 25th anniversary for the half marathon and an impressive 54 years for the full marathon. Now prepare to be captivated by the breathtaking 56 and 21 kilometer routes that this iconic event has to offer. And it is known far and wide as the world's most beautiful marathon where participants will have the privilege of traversing picturesque landscapes adorned with natural wonders such as Chapman's Peak and Kirsten Bosch. Well, here to chat to us about the Two Oceans Marathon is Chair and Vice Chair of the NPC Board, Ilsa DeVette and Liesl Short. So great to have both of you joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. Now, what is it about the Two Oceans Marathon that makes it such a global spectacular? Well, I mean, besides the fact that we have 16,000 joining us for the half marathon and 13,000 for the ultra, sure. I mean, the numbers alone talks to the magnitude of this race. And the fact that we completely sold out at full capacity tells you that it is a glorious race to, to partake in. Um, we also have international runners from 88 countries sure. joining us. I mean, as far and wide as Taiwan and the Maldives, Mexico, US, UK. I mean, it's just fantastic what what this race attracts in terms yes. of international footprint. So that's what makes it amazing. I mean, it is spectacular in terms of beauty, spectacular in terms of race profiles because it's it's challenging. Um, but also, I mean, the the amount of spectators that come out, etc. It's just phenomenal in terms of scale yeah pure scale it is the support that is so incredible especially if you're making your way up <laughs> southern cross you want the people to cheer you that for me was the highlight of when i did it i still remember be like okay when is this hill ending it is a tough tough one but with the support along the side of the roads you you don't feel it now liesel i wanted to ask you when it comes to this race what can those participating expect along the route um, well, besides the beauty and running Chapman's Peak, running Constantia Nick, and then of course running Southern Cross, um, we do have various activations next to the route that's going to build the vibe and give the gears and all of that. Um, but the biggest, biggest, big, biggest activation next to the road is the support yeah. from the community. I mean, as you said yourself, there's nothing as lacquer as running and people are standing next to the road and they're giving you high fives and there you go. And then the best is always on Southern Cross Drive when all the old people actually come out they come and put their camping chair in their driveway with their little cool box with drinks and they actually cheer you on and they sit there the whole morning and they cheer you on. So that is that is the absolute the most amazing part. And then, of course, that that expectation when you cross the finish line, mm. that complete elevation at Southern Cross, you suffered on Chappies, you suffered. But the moment you cross the finish line, it is just the most, most amazing feeling. It really is. And I know this is a race that is sought after. I know friends and family that every year when the entries open, they're like, oh, you entering, let's get in, let's get on the waiting list. <laughs> and they wait for those ballots to come out to be able to at least enter the half. So I know there's a lot of preparation and you know a lot of thinking and str strategy involved in pulling yeah. this off. Perhaps one of you can shed some light as to the type of planning involved in pulling off the Two Oceans Marathon? Well, there's, there's a very specific reason why event planners tell you what happens behind the scenes, stay behind the scenes. Okay. <laughs> but we can lift the curtain a little bit. I mean, first of all, it's very important to mention that um, Two Oceans Marathon, we did receive our um, International Association for Ultra, Money, for Ultra Marathon Runners um, gold label status this year. Okay. So that is the most prestigious award that can be awarded to any ultra marathon worldwide. Sure. And we will not be receiving that gold status if the meticulous detailed planning behind the scenes were not in place. That's the highest accolade that you can get and they will only give it to you if everything is in place. 
So, I mean, we work quite closely with the city of Cape Town. We work with disaster risk management. We're working with fire. Um, then it's all the planning for the start, the finish. I mean, it takes roughly 1,400 marshals and volunteers sure. along the route every day to make sure that the runners are safe, they are kept on route and that they are looked after. Um, and that's just a, a tiny little bit. We're not talking about the hours and hours put in behind the scenes. It takes about eight to nine months to put this race on the road. You don't just wake up and say, oh, I'm going to arrange a race today for 30,000 people. No, you, you, don't. You, you don't do that. I mean, there's rules and regulations we need to keep to permits, applications, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, it's, it's a massive, massive team effort behind the scenes with stakeholders, partners, with everybody. With everyone. With everyone. Well, Ilse, Liesel, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for sharing the excitement, the detail that went in. Well, just a little bit that you were able to share. But of course, it's always the proof is in the pudding with that gold status on top of everything. So congratulations to your entire team and good luck. I believe you are running the half this weekend. We're hoping to. We hope we're to. Still standing. <laughs> we're still you standing will. By you Sunday. will. If not, I will cobble load for you. How does that Thank sound? You. <laughs> so, we can I just add some critical information that yes. we just want to share with the viewers because um, there's obviously, with a race like this, there's some important communication. Race day parking, if our participants can please make sure they get their parking tickets at the expo, okay. which starts on Wednesday. Um, critical because then you don't have to worry about it on race day. And ride share, guys, there's going to be anxiety on the morning. The best thing to do is to share that anxiety with somebody sitting next to you <laughs> on your way to the days. Um, please do not park on the M3 and around UCT. No. Very, very important. You're probably going to get fined. Um, and then also obey our traffic officials and our marshals. It's for your safety. It's for the safety of spectators and runners. And we want an event free race. So yes. please, if they could abide by those, we'd be very, very happy. And then to our runners out there, enjoy Saturday and Sunday. That's what all the months of training is for. Definitely. Well, there you go. You heard it from Ilsa. Thank you so much. Liesl, thank you for joining you. us. And all the best if you are running the Two Oceans Marathon, whether you're doing the half or the ultra.